they're getting really creative with these packages from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. Because we're going to take a close look at the new SUP 2021 Deluxe handheld from a friend from China. It comes with a 3 inch LCD display, not an IPS of course. And the Deluxe Edition comes with an extra controller, so I'm curious how this is going to work. We have a TV out function this time, so what you can do is we're basically plug this thing in the television, combine with a controller, and we can just play like an Famicom system. Because this is more like the 8 bit fetish, like always, because the Chinese love their 8 bit stuff. Okay, so let's take a close look inside what are we going to get. Okay guys, so let's take a close look at all the stuff you're going to get, all the goodies. So first of all, we're going to get the cheap AV out cable that we're going to try out. Then we're having this very, what the hell? Okay, so I have seen my share of cheap micro USB cables for charging, but this is just a freaking insult for a cable. Okay, so here we're having the toilet paper manual like always, and this one is the deluxe toilet paper with Inforable, yes. Okay, let's take a close look at it. So when you take read in it, it's more like some basic explanation how to reset the function and blah de blah de blah. Show you in this video, of course. Nobody reaches the bloody things. And of course, we're going to get the controller. The controller comes with some plastic fantastic. Okay, so let's open it up. But how is the controller? Hmm. It looks like two pieces of plastic glued together. Wow. Seriously. It's almost impossible to press it. So sturdy is this D-pad. Slack start. Oh boy. A micro USB cable. What a horrible piece of crap. Let's take a close look at the handheld, my friends. Because I'm curious about this thing. Okay, so the reason I want to take a close look at and especially make a part of this video about handheld because there are some functions and stuff that you will need to know. So first of all, there are quite some different models. Some of them look the same, but I can say when you put them side by side, I reviewed a lot of these 8-bit handhelds, especially the sub-versions. There are quite some different versions, not only the game amount, but also the quality. So this D-pad feels not bad at all. It's a long travel D-pad, not too sturdy, do like it. Reset button, clickish. A, B, X, Y, select start. At the top we're going to get the on and off switch. The micro USB, the AV out of course. There is nothing else to see over here. At the back we can remove this. Ooh, look, nice. A nice orange color BL5C. And this is more like a very common old school Nokia battery. Let's see, this the, the, yeah, the 1020 milliamp. And if you're going to get lost or get broken, you want a spare one, you can pick them up from AliExpress for a couple of dollars. So that is super convenient that they're still using these. That will give you a couple of hours of playtime. Okay, so let's power it on. And let's say this tiny speaker over here is quite loud. Hmm. Still going to get the language setting, like always. And the fun fact is more like if you're going to... Whoa. All right. And if you reset it... It always goes back to the freaking main menu for the language. But let's take a close look at the game list. So the game list, there are some things you need to know and to take in consideration. So there are a lot of naughty, naughty games on this thing, or familiar games. But when you take a close look for any further in the list, you can see a lot of double games, a lot of homebrew games. So it actually there are not 400 games on this thing and take that in consideration. And this is more like the stuff they were doing from the beginning of the 90s, where we were introduced with multi-game cards. Only they're just more like slapping more 400 games on it, more games on it. It's no. So I can tell you more, we had a couple of great games on it. But in the end, there are a lot of shitty ones. Oh man, I messed it up with my overview. The volume controls here, the left button with a scrolling wheel. Yeah, totally forgot to mention it. Okay, so let's see how the emulation is on this device. The view angle is most of the same, like all of the handhelds. Let's put it in the right position the camera so I can record it. Oh boy. Oh, the D-pad. Okay, so the A and B are just bu job buttons, and the top ones are for the normal attack and the turbo attack. Okay, so I need to play like this. Don't know why they're doing that. Yeah. Sound effects are here. The music sounds just like it should be. So the emulation of itself is not bad at all.
Yep, sound effects are all there. And no, that wasn't an excuse because I died. I know he was going to jump. So I wanted to connect the controller, but it seems to be that my, my battery cover is already more like, when I say broken, but that's some quality issues. Hmm, the stage finally put. Okay, great. So let's connect the controller itself. Let's try to boot up a two-player game and let's see if we can play actually with two players. Because this is a feature that is not compatible with every sub or other brand of a handheld from a friend from China. Aha! Alright, so it seems to be working. They program it correctly because they messed it up in the past. Oh, that D-pad is really awful. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Alright, so here you have it guys. The two-player function does work. Alright guys, so if you want to connect the TV out function, it's just plug and play. The display will go out on the handheld itself, but will automatically go to your monitor. Take consideration if you're using this on a normal monitor, uh, I can change the XPS ratio if I want with the monitor settings itself, but it forces it out basically in the widescreen. So I just wanted to point it out, and uh, yeah, let's try another game and let's see how it runs and how it looks. Oh boy, it looks really awful, look at the lines. Oh boy, this is really bad. Oh, that's not in the signal, it's just how it looks. There is no music. So let's try another game, because maybe this is the problem with the game. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so it seems to be that there are basically some horrible files on the system itself. With some bad music, but still this thing does the same thing. Okay, that was a great start, but okay, let's try this time like a normal gameplay. Eh, it seems to be working just fine. Because when you're playing on the LCD, you can see it doesn't have the same issues like on the television. So the TV out is quite an awful experience. So this is what you're going to get with the new version of the sub handheld. The game box, Game Boy, comes with many names. But in the end, when you look at it, the gameplay itself is not bad at all. But when you're going to get to the TV out function, it's freaking awful. And not to even start about this controller, because this is just not the experience you want to have. You're getting to get a deluxe edition with an, when I say free controller, but extra controller. But they can just rather stop by selling it, because this controller makes the games freaking unplayable. The idea behind that you can play this game with two players on the television is quite neat. But also, the signal output is very horrible. So I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family, and I will see you in the next video.